Can what you eat determine how long and how well you live? Based on comprehensive scientific studies, both in the lab and in the clinic, and among some of the world's most long-living populations, the answer is yes. Dr. Walter Longo, the director of the Longevity Institute at the University of Southern California, discusses his research and his book, The Longevity Diet. I founded the Longevity Institute here at USC with some of my colleagues, and, and the purpose of the Longevity Institute is to try to come up with complementary integrative interventions, so let's say diet plus standard of care, in uh, treating and preventing human diseases, and, and that's really uh, an important combination. My first book, The Longevity Diet, and is basically the description of both the, the, the genes and the genetics of aging, so what genes control aging and how food controls the genes that control aging. So it really is a, a manual for living longer, healthier. The book uses a five-pillar system to come up with dietary recommendations to extend the healthy lifespan. Two other components to longer life are when and how often you should eat. A widely known recommendation is to eat five times a day. We instead recommend, I instead recommend the book to eat twice a day plus a snack. So breakfast and lunch, breakfast and dinner, and then for the third meal, a 200 calorie, a low sugar a snack. That's one recommendation. The other one, is the how many hours per day do you eat? And, and often, uh, in, especially in the United States, but all over the world, people start eating for 14, 15 hours a day. So let's say they start 8 a.m. and they end at midnight. That's a problem. That's gotta be moved back to about 12 hours a day. Not much longer, not much shorter. Deaths from chronic diseases have been increasing due to the changes in what we eat. The genes that accelerate aging have clearly been affected by the dietary changes in the last 50 years. So now we have a high protein diet, but also a, pro a diet that leads to high blood sugar level, blood glucose level. So together, now having high protein, high amino acids, high sugar, these pathways are always active, uh, al almost like having the accelerator always on, the aging accelerator always on. And, uh, and this, of course, is contributing not just to cancer, but to all kinds of diseases of aging, uh, including diabetes, uh, neurodegenerative diseases, etc. Dr. Longo describes two major ways to live longer. In the uh, Longevity Diet book, I describe the two major ways to live longer. And one of them is the everyday diet. And this everyday diet should be a high nourishment pescatarian diet. V vegetables plus fish a couple of times a week. And, and the other, in the other half of the book, I talk about the fasting mimicking diet. And this is, is, can be done between once a month to uh, once every six months. And this is, has the uh, job of regenerating, rejuvenating the body. The fasting mimicking diet is something that uh, is the result of over 25 years of work in my laboratory, and we're really using the technology and the understanding of the genes that control aging, but not just aging, also regeneration, to come up with something to, with a diet that lasts five days and that's as good as fasting, meaning that it causes the changes in the body that are equivalent to those caused by water-only fasting. The fasting mimicking diet was tested in a randomized clinical trial on over 100 patients. And in these patients, uh, we saw uh, major effects of the three cycles. So we, we measured their cholesterol and other risk factors before they started the diet and also after three cycles of the diet. And the results show that in people that had high, uh, high levels of these risk factors, we saw reduction in cholesterol, in reduction in blood pressure, both systolic and diastolic, uh, reduction in fasting glucose, uh, reduction in C-reactive protein, a marker and risk factor uh, for uh, cardiovascular in this, uh, disease, and also we saw a specific reduction in uh, abdominal fat. So the belly fat was reduced, but the uh, uh, limb body mass, so the muscle mass, was not affected. And this is very unusual for, uh, for diets. Most diets uh, cause a loss of limb body mass, but also water and fat. Uh, so, um, so this is a, a very uh, special feature of these uh, cycles of fasting making diet and refeeding. Dr. Longo shares a patient's story. Jenny Russell, uh, a journalist for the London Times, and, and Jenny had an autoimmune disorder 
uh, and she really ran out of options, uh, trying everything else possible, including a lot of different drugs. And then uh, she decided after she saw one of our publications on uh, immunity, she decided to start uh, fasting mimicking diet. Uh, and, and this worked very well. And now, uh, after several years, she remains free of this autoimmune disease. Of course, this is just a case. And we're now running a number of clinical trials testing uh, Crohn's disease, uh, multiple sclerosis, et cetera. But certainly, it's very promising to have had a number of patients, including Jenny, do so well after doing a uh, fasting mimicking diet.